so we have seen that at 0 kelvin for energy is greater than ef the value of f of e is 0 and e less than ef if you are looking at for probability at energy levels less than ef we can say that f of e equal to 1 so let's plot the value of this function at 0 kelvin so in the y axis let's take the probability of finding an electron now in the x axis we will take energy so we have two cases for e greater than ef and e less than ef let's say this is our fermi level somewhere in the middle now for e values less than ef the value is 1 and for greater than ef the value is 0 so let's plot that let's say this is 1 and this is 0 so for e values less than ef the value should be 1 and its value should be 0 for e greater than ef so this is how the fermi dirac distribution function looks like at t equal to 0 kelvin and we have also explained it in the case of energy band diagram so we have our valence band and our conduction band and we have said that our fermi level lies at and around the middle of band gap now at 0 kelvin we have said that the conduction band is empty and valence band is full now this is in accordance with this fermi dirac distribution function now what happens the important question is what happens as temperature increases we have said that as temperature increases valence band electrons will move to conduction band and thereby creating vacant states in valence band that means there should be some probability even if it is very small to find electron in the conduction band so as temperature increases we have electrons in the conduction band and there will be empty states in the valence band we have already mentioned about it now how should this fermi dirac distribution function should look like for temperatures greater than 0 kelvin so there should be some probability of finding electron above ef and there should be some probability of finding holes below ef that means vacant states so let's say there is some probability very small probability of finding an electron at temperature above ef so this is at say t1 which is greater than 0 kelvin so is t1 greater than 0 kelvin now similarly there should be some reduction in the probability in the valence band so it cannot be 1 anymore but it should be less now an important point here is that this fermi dirac distribution is symmetrical around ef so it is symmetrical the fermi dirac function is symmetrical around ef so let's see what happens if temperature increases further for a temperature which is greater than t1 let's say t2 is greater than t1 which is greater than 0 kelvin now there should be more electrons in the conduction band there should be more electrons in the conduction band and more empty states in the valence band so the probability of finding electron in the conduction band should further increase and that in the valence band should decrease so it will so the probability to find electrons the conduction band should increase and that to find in the valence band should decrease so this is how it's going to look like we will have some curves like this now if f of e if f of e is the probability of finding an electron then what is the probability of finding a hole so hole is the vacancy of electron so the probability of finding a hole should be 1 minus f of e so this is another important point that means if f of e is the probability of finding an electron then what should be the probability of finding a hole it should be 1 minus f of e if there is an if there is no electron at that position we can say there is a vacancy or a hole and one more important point to note here is that we know that in the energy band gap there should be no electrons right so there is no point in substituting energy values in the energy gap to find the probability so whenever we want to actually calculate the probability we should substitute for e those energy states that are available for electrons that means you should have you should substitute for energy levels in the conduction band 
or valence band not in the energy band gap if you want to actually calculate what is the probability of finding an electron